Hey what's up guys so Apple released official iOS 14 build on 16th of September and it comes with ton of features first one is the widget panel you can access it by swiping to right from the first page by long pressing the widgets you can add these widgets to your home screen or edit their settings currently widgets are available for stock Apple apps only later on widgets for third party apps will also be supported you can add these widgets to your home screen by going to edit home screen option and clicking on the plus button on the right side these are some of the widgets available in the options and you can change the layout of the widgets whether you want a square one or a bigger rectangle one. You can also move the widgets but sadly you can't set them anywhere like you can do on android phones. You can't move the widget to the center of the screen, it can be placed only on the sides. One feature which apple should have introduced years ago is the picture and picture mode. And finally with ios 14 it's available now. So while watching videos, you need to just press the home button and the small screen will be visible on your home screen. You can move the screen, you can adjust the size of the screen, you can also swipe it to the corner to hide the video and the audio keeps playing in the background. There are many such features and if you want to see my in-depth review and feature video of iOS 14, you can watch it by clicking on the card on the top right corner. But since it's a new OS, it can sometimes land you into a trouble like boot loop while updating or your phone may get stuck into recovery mode. So in this video, I'll show you how to get rid of these issues. Before going ahead, let me introduce you guys to an ongoing offer on Wondershare Dr. Phone site by the name of Dr. Phone Very Free Update Plan, which will help you if you get stuck while updating your iOS device. The link of the contest is mentioned in the description below. You can also stand a chance to win a brand new iPhone 12. You just have to vote your answer, mention your email address and then submit your answer. You will also get 40% off on the Dr. Phone Toolkit. With Dr. Phone app by Wondershare, you can update your iOS device to iOS 14 easily. You can fix iOS 14 system errors like black screen of death, recovery mode, Apple logo boot loop. You can also use it to downgrade from iOS 14 to iOS 13 easily. But keep in mind that you can do it till a specific date only as Apple stops signing the older iOS software after 14 days of the launch of the new iOS software. So if you are facing such issues, you can download Wondershare Dr. Phone app. Wondershare Dr. Phone Toolkit is a really helpful and feature-rich app and can help you to get out of some really tricky situations on your phone. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link. Although it's not free, but it's worthy of every penny as you can use Wondershare Dr. Phone for various tasks like phone backup, switch data between devices, WhatsApp data transfer, unlocking your phone and finally for repairing software issues. So when you select system repair, you are welcomed with some repair options on the left panel. There is an option for iOS and Android. We will select iOS system repair for now. And you have two choices for repair. One is standard method which can solve most of the issues and will retain your data. And if standard method fails, you can use advanced method but it will erase your data. So I'll select standard method for now. This screen shows how to put your phone into DFU mode to make it ready for repair process. Different iOS devices have different method, so make sure you follow the right instructions as per your device. Once your device is connected to the PC using the USB cable and you follow the on-screen instructions, your phone will boot into DFU mode and the software will go ahead to the next step automatically. On this screen, the app will verify your iPhone model and your iOS software it's running on. The software will need to download the compatible iOS version in order to repair your phone. The software can automatically download the required firmware if you click the start button. And if you have already downloaded the IPSW file, you can locate it manually and go ahead with the repair process. Now it will confirm whether you want to go ahead with the repair process. I'll go ahead by clicking on the fix now button. The process has started and it may take 5 to 10 minutes depending on the size of the iOS file. In the similar way, you can update your iPhone to iOS 14 using Wondershare Dr. Phone app. You can also downgrade your iPhone from iOS 14 to iOS 13 if you are facing any issue or if you don't like iOS 14. So the process is complete and now your phone will boot to the home screen. As you can see all the data is intact as I used standard method for the repair process. So in this way you can repair your iOS device yourself. You don't need to visit the service center for such small issues using Wondershare Dr. Phone app. You can download the app from Wondershare Dr. Phone site. The link is mentioned in the description below. If you have any doubts regarding the Dr. Phone app, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. Also don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads. Also follow me on Instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz Facebook page. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, stay tuned.